Well, we're in day 24 of our 40-day fast, and I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying some global warming today. As we uh, continue to think about Matthew chapter 6, particularly verses 16 through 18, where Jesus talks to us about fasting, he says, make sure when you're fasting that you don't go around looking gloomy uh, so as to draw attention to yourself or promote uh, your own sense of piety, because if that's why you're fasting, then you already have your reward. But he tells us that when we fast, we ought to go about our normal activities, uh, make sure that you uh, put oil on your face, or in, in essence, instead of being, th this is strange, back in those days, as a sign of mourning, they would put ashes, uh, sackcloth and ashes, right? So Jesus literally says, uh, actually not literally, but he, in a paraphrase, is saying, don't go around looking ashy. Now, uh, you'd have to be of a particular skin tone to understand the relevance of that statement. Bottom line for you and I, however, is that it's easy to take anything that is designed to be spiritual and draw us closer to God, or anything that we would want to use as a sign of reverence to Him, and turn it into something self-promoting. So, for example, when I was growing up, um, we had to wear white shirts uh, to church, a white shirt and a tie. You dressed up to go to church, but over time it seemed like people would try to outdress one another. What was initially used as a sign of reverence to God became more of a sign of competition, more of a sign of look at me. Same can be true, there was a time when people used to wear crosses. I mean, even now people sometimes wear them, but more of a decoration, but there used to be times where people wore crosses and then over time people start wearing bigger and bigger crosses as not a sign of pointing to the sacrifice that Jesus made for us but as a sign to look at me because um, I guess I'm more spiritual than you because my cross is bigger than you. When, <laughs> probably about 10 years ago there was a fashion among uh, particularly preachers where uh, instead of one, two, three button suits Preachers were wearing, you know, four, five, six button suits. So I went and got me one of these long suits, had seven buttons on it. Then I went somewhere and saw a preacher with nine buttons. I said, you know what? I can't keep up. And the bottom line is you can take something and just go to the extreme with it till it actually becomes the opposite of what it was designed to be. And fasting is one of those things. So for those of you who are fasting with us, I hope that you're finding fasting as a delight, that you're finding it something that helps to draw you closer to God, uh, something that is helping you to expose the idols in your life, and not something that you're using to try to show other people how spiritual you are. Hope all this makes sense, and look forward to talking to you later. God bless you.